hello guys in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to create dimensions and edit them in revit what we're going to be doing is to create the dimension you go to this annotate bar okay then you click on it will first start with align dimensions for we are going to be dimensioning this floor plan now so to do that we click on align dimension so we are going to for this video we are going to be creating our own dimension so to do that we click on edit type okay then we duplicate and say let's name it okay let me just name it my dimension one okay so that's it and done let's just click okay so we are going to start dimensioning from surface window surface to window window surface to window then we or window surface whatever okay so we're going to be doing this and doing this for this window so yeah seeing that um, i think i skipped the part okay so if i if to dimension i'm going to i currently set it in picking at picking wall faces so for example for instance if i set it at wall center lines now and i start dimensioning it at wall center lines it will be picking the center of the wall you get now and i want to just dimension the exterior walls then the windows so i'm going to now be using um, wall faces okay so I'm going to dimension it window to window okay i'm going to dimension this this door window to window okay. okay so i've basically done one level of dimensions now so if you notice for example at this point this dimension is looking clustered and all so we are going to edit this dimension okay to do that we'll just click on the dimension click on edit type okay so we are going to start editing this um these parameters in the dimension so first we are going to reduce the witness line okay to one millimeter we are going to um, leave this is good this fixed to dimension line is is okay if it's gap to elements it means it's the, the um, witness line will be extending towards the source of its reference that is for example as we pick these walls now they you see lines coming from the walls to the dimension so and i don't want that so i'm going to leave it at fixed that fixed to dimension line so we're going to be leaving this witness line extension witness line extension at one so we're going to be changing this text size to 1.5 okay and let's just change the dimension color to blue just to make it more interesting and we are going to change this text font from times new roman to elegant lux major okay so we click on this so i think this looks good so we can also edit this tick line this cross tick mark to to change the diagonal tick mark to one millimeter we are going to click on manage additional setting then go to arrow heads so on the arrow head we change it to diagonal 1.5 that we are currently using in the dimension then just change it to one okay then the thing has reflected as one millimeters okay so we are going to dimension wall to wall the wall to wall dimensions now okay Wall to wall dimensions. Then we are going to be doing the okay. This part is not even necessary for this video, but anyhow, let's move on. Okay, so now um, we are done with the align dimension. We're going to go to the linear dimension. Linear dimension is similar to align dimension, for example. 
is for is usually good it's similar to align dimension it can be used interchangeably so we are going to go to angular so angular is basically it measures the angles measures angles like these two walls are um, adjacent to each other so it's at 90 degrees so you get it, you get it so we can also edit this dimension in a similar fashion and let's change it to witness line extension 1 and change it to 1.52 change the color to blue change the text offset to 0 0.5 change the text size to 1.5 okay so that is it okay we are um, this diagonal tick mark is too much so i'm going to change it to diagonal 1.5 to reduce the tick mark so we are going to explore another dimension that is radial okay so this radial basically measures the radius in the same fashion as we did in the previous dimensions we can edit this one too okay let me just edit it quickly so I'm going here with text size 1.5, text offset 0 0.5, and change the dimension to blue. Okay. So that said, you can you can also dimension diameter. So this is the diameter dimension. So we are going to be editing it in a similar fashion. Change it to 1.5, then um, change the text offset to 0 0.5. Okay. Okay. This stuff you just close that. I can just create a circle. Let me create a circle to elaborate it more. Okay. So there you go this is the um, radial diameter the diameter dimension this is the radial dimension okay let's just make this one blue like the other dimensions okay okay so um we are going to go to the next dimension that is arc length okay this arc length is basically for measuring the length of an arc so for example let's create an arc using detail line now we are going to create a, an arc now so let's just draw the align click on it and create the arc okay so to dimension that we'll go to radial line we'll click on it then tab pick this point and pick the other end of the arc then it gives us our arc length you can use the same thing when drawing walls. For example, I'm going to create a wall and create use create an arc wall now, an arc shape wall. So we have created an arc shape wall now. We are going to dimension it using the arc length. So you click on the exterior wall. Please um, listen to this part. It actually gave me problems earlier on when I was learning Revit. So I'm going to tab it. Tab here and select this other end and click on it the same thing for this interior in the inner and wall face i'm going to click on it okay so well, we can also edit this dimension as well click on edit change it from diagonal 3 millimeter to diagonal 1.5 change the dimension line extension to one gap to element here fixed to dimension line change the witness line to one change it to one millimeter so the dimension will be looking not be looking clustered so we now change the color to blue so it will be consistent with our other dimensions we're now going to change the text size to 1.5 as usual and change the text font to elegant lux major then change the text offset to 0 0.5